Hello children, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn the structure and uses of present perfect continuous tense. Okay, when to use present perfect continuous tense? To express an action which began at some time in the past and is still continuing and may extend into the future. She has been studying since morning. That is, from the morning, she is studying, still the action is going on and even in future it continues. So, in such cases, we have to use present perfect continuous tense. And it is used to express an, an action in a sentence which begins with for or since. That is, how long? This event is going on and from when it is the, it, this happening is going on. It is to express an action that began some time in the past and has been just completed. So however, it resu its result is visible in the present. I have been working on this project for 5 hours and I am tired now. So. That particular person is working on that particular project for five hours. How long he has been working uh, on that project? For five hours. And because of that, he became tired. So in order to express this, we have to write as, I have been working on this project for five hours and I am tired now. So let us know. The various aspects of present tense forms. They are simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. So let us know the structure for simple present tense. That is subject plus main verb or subject plus main verb. At the end of the main verb we can add S or ES or IES. That depends upon the subject. We have to use base form of verb for simple present tense. Likewise, for present continuous, the structure is subject plus am or is or are plus base form of verb plus ing. So, we have to use B form of verb that too, the present tense B form of verb in the case of present continuous tense. Likewise, for present perfect tense, the structure is subject plus have or has plus past participle form of verb. Likewise, for present continuous tense, we have to learn. So, let us learn subject plus has or have been plus base form of verb plus ing. She has been swimming. So, in case of affirmative sentence, we have to write as, she has been running. She has been running. So, for negative, the structure is subject plus have or has plus not plus been plus the base form of verb plus ing. She hasn't been running. In case of interrogative sentence, for positive, the structure is has or have plus subject plus been plus base form of verb plus ing. So, has she been running? For interrogative negative, we have to give the structure as has or have plus not plus subject plus been plus base form of verb plus ing. Example, hasn't she been running? So, let us uh, know few things about present perfect continuous tense. In case of affirmative first person singular, the structure is I plus have plus been plus base form of verb plus ing. So I have been singing since morning. So note since is used for a point of time. So, whenever we use since or for, we can use present perfect continuous tense. I have been 
singing since morning. Still the work, work is going on and it may extend into the future also. In such case we have to use present perfect continuous tense. Likewise for first person singular the structure is subject plus have plus been plus main verb plus ing. So we have been singing since morning. Likewise for second person singular you have been singing for two hours. You have been singing for two hours for second person plural. So here again for is used for a period of time, the duration of time. So for how many hours they were singing? They were singing for two hours even if the action is going on and even it may extend into the future. Third person, she or he or it has been singing since morning. The structure is subject plus has plus been plus main verb plus ing. And for third person plural, the structure is subject plus have plus been plus base form plus ing. They have been singing since morning. Likewise, for affirmative sentences, few examples are given. Likewise, for negative and interrogative, let us see few examples. I have been living. You have been living. He, see, it has been living. We have been living. You have been living. They have been living. Just know the structure alone. I have not used since or for. So, since is used for a point of time and for is used for a period of time. So, likewise, for negative, I haven't been living, you haven't been living, he hasn't been living, we haven't been living, you haven't been living, they haven't been living. Have I been living? Have you been living? Has she been living? Have we been living? Have you been living? Have they been living? The present perfect continuous refers to an unspecified time between before, now and now. To express an, an action which began at some time in the past and is still continuing and may extend into the future. She has been studying since morning. To express an, an action in a sentence which begins with for how long or since when. To express an act, an action that began sometime in the past and has been just completed. However, its result is visible in the present. I have been working on this project for five hours and I am tired now. So, let us see few examples. She has been waiting for you all day. For whole day she was waiting. She has been waiting for you all day. That is, she has been waiting. That is action which began at some time in the past and is still continuing and it may extend into the future. I have been working on this report since 8 o'clock this morning. Still the work is going on. And it has begun at some time in the past and still continuing and it may extend into the future. They have been traveling since last October. So still the traveling process is going on. They have been traveling still since last October. Money has been working in the school for five hours, five years, sorry, five years. Still, he is working in the same school and he has joined before five, five years and even he will continue in the future. Aruna has eagerly been waiting to meet her friends since morning. I'd asked in the insurance for over 10 years. I'd asked my shift car since 2007. I am tired because I'd asked for two hours. 
Jenny dances recently. She does not look too well lately. I have been working in the insurance for over 10 years. I have been owning my shift car since 2007. I am tired because I have been running. Jenny has been helping us recently. She has not been looking too well lately. Yes, children. I hope you might have understood this uh, present perfect continuous tense. Thank you for watching.